Welcome back. Established in Windhoek in 2004, the Women's Leadership Center, or the WLC, is a Namibian-based feminist organization that envisions a society in which all women actively engage in shaping the politics, practices, and values of both public and private spaces. They recently released the trailer of their short film titled Uno and Hatago. This brand new Namibian movie portrays the trauma and triumph of a young lesbian couple as they challenge socio-cultural norms. To share more details on the center and the film, we are joined by Liz Frank, the director of the Women's Leadership Center, and Hilary Shimi, the director of the short film. Ladies, good evening and welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you for having Lovely us. Lovely having you here. It's great to be here. <laughs> Just to start with Liz, let's yeah. talk a little bit about the center mm -hmm. and you know the initiatives and programs uh, mm. that the center offers yes. um, to promote women's engagement. Yes. So we started with the aim of developing feminism from within the different cultural groups in Namibia. Mm -hmm. Because we realized being a Herero woman is very different from being a Zambezi woman, a Himba woman. And we didn't really know much about the different cultures and the different ways women are oppressed through cultural norms, social norms in the different cultural communities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so we have a program in Zambezi region where we're challenging harmful cultural practices that are violent mm. and that drive HIV. We have a SAN Women and Girls Empowerment Program where for the last, since 2012, we are working in six SAN villages in different regions to build the leadership, the pride, cultural pride, the agency, the power of SAN women who mm -hmm. are the most marginalized women in this country. And our third program, it's coming a long, long way. It's the Lesbian Empowerment Program. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Hilary, talk to me about your involvement uh, with the WLC or the work that you do together, if this is your first collaboration. Mm. No, uh, so <laughs> I started with a, a Women's Leadership Centre back in 2017 where I was doing dance facilitation for the Namibian Lesbian Festival which is an annual event for lesbians that come from various regions in the country uh, to showcase uh, creativity and artistic forms through resilience. Mm -hmm. yes. Fantastic. And of course you've mentioned you've got all these programs that you have for the different groups of women in the different regions and parts of the country yes. in Namibia. Yeah. But I'm sure this is your first sort of film, uh, sort of the entertainment space that you're venturing into. It is. Tell us about that and, and why you decided to, to get on board with this. Um, we're coming a long way in terms of making publications, print publications, and we moved into photo books, doing photography workshops with the women themselves, holding the camera and being on the other side of the camera. Mm -hmm. And it was sort of the logical next step. And because Hillary, um, I suddenly realized Hillary, apart from being a choreographer, she's also a filmmaker. I grabbed hold of her middle of last year and said, Hillary, we have money to make a lesbian movie. Mm -hmm. Are you on board? And it's just been an amazing, amazing journey. That's fantastic. Tell me about Uno and Hatako, Hilary, in a nutshell. In a nutshell, <laughs> Uno and Hatako is a short lesbian Namibian film that tackles and showcases the lived realities of um, lesbian couples living in society and families. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. What? A significance. First, do you, I want this answer from both of you. Do you think this form will hold mm -hmm. for the LGBTQIA plus community, Liz? I think it's amazing. We sent the trailer out only yesterday, and <laughs> the the response on social media has already been incredible. And mm -hmm. people in Germany are already saying, "When are you bringing the film here?" So I think we're really going to make waves because it is a unique um, product mm -hmm. um, made by lesbians, with lesbians, for lesbians. In the LGBTIQ, the L usually disappears. So there's a lot more media information on trans people. The mm. gay have also kind of disappeared. Mm. And so as a feminist women's rights organization, we really foreground 
the lesbian story, mm -hmm. which doesn't get mm -hmm. told anywhere mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. We do have anthologies, we have books, you know, where we have included writings by Namibian lesbians. We published one last year, mm -hmm. but this is the first time, well, we've documented all our lesbian festivals six of them now. Mm -hmm. So you see young lesbians on stage dancing, singing, doing their music, they create their own songs. Mm -hmm. We link with lesbian organizations in Southern Africa. At the last festival, last November, we had about eight partner organizations from SADC countries joining us for the festival. So that's already made huge waves mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in terms of how we use the creative arts to build the pride, the you know, the self-knowledge, the solidarity of young lesbians. Yeah. They come out of the closet and they dance mm. and they're on stage and it's coming out through through festivals. Yeah. And now it's the movie was sort of the next step. Hilary, you'd like to add on to that or has she said it all? <laughs> yes, definitely, but I would like to add that it's also resilience and empowerment. You know, I think we are, we are able to see the resilience and the strength of uh, lesbian women as individuals and also as the community as a whole, uh, and also just facing prejudices and um, discrimination. So this story as a whole is really very unique because first it's a Namibian tr story tackling Namibian cultural norms and living in society, living uh, and acceptance in society as Namibia. So uh, we wanted to tell our own stories in our own way so that it's not relatable to the modern or the Western, but more as in a Namibian titled film. Yeah. Yes. So what are you hoping that the impact of Una on Hatako would be both locally and on a global scale? I think the impact for me locally should be about um, education. <laughs> we really want to educate and aware, you know, I think a lot of us are not around that education sector in terms of what really is LGBTQI. Mm -hmm. And as lesbians, we really do face a lot, quite from cultural norms to society. So really, it's about education and also just using this tool as part of advocacy, as part of whole, whole holistically holding it to say this is what we, we can do through arts and through entertainment, through advocacy. Hopefully our rights and, and lives change for the better. Yeah. I'm going to interject there. I think we've got the trailer. Let's mm. take a look at it. Oh, fantastic. That's nice. Thank you. Babe. Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> Congratulations. Medah, medah. But it's a step into the right direction. We won, babe. Look at our baby! <laughs> Not at the day! What's up with that? Wow! Are you Uno's lawyer? I will have you reported! <laughs> I recognize some faces there. Yes. A colleague of ours, of course, the yeah. amazing Jay Aaron, yes, makeup yes. artist. Yes. Everybody knows yeah. her. Yeah. Um, I just want to know. So the trailer is out now. When yeah. can we expect the full movie to be out, yeah. uh, Liz? No, Hillary is. Uh, yes. <laughs> so the trailer is out now. We'll be pushing mm -hmm. it, and we are hope hopeful that uh, we are premiering it during Pride Month. So we have two months to really push out the trailer right. mm -hmm. and really get it going to the cinemas. Hopefully, it is either Maru or the growth more but we are really excited but this is just on ground level but we are also aiming to take it out to the regions that mostly where we work in because we really want the community to see this before we even take it international we really want to build an audience of you know intentionally bringing it out to especially the regions the marginalized and really get there and say this is this is it yeah. we are Namibians we tell these stories because it's lived realities yeah. Yeah. yes well, ladies, thank you so much for being here. All the best mm -hmm. with uh, yeah. the trailer and the hype mm -hmm. and the initial, the final premiere yes. of the movie and mm -hmm. the success thereof. Thank, thank you so you much for being much. here this we evening. We will invite you to the premiere. Thank you so <laughs> much. <laughs> thank you. And bring, bring your friends and family. Fantastic. <laughs> that was Liz and Hilary speaking to us there. We're going to be right back after the short break. It's almost time to say goodbye.